Hi guys, and a massive warm welcome back to the channel. If this is the sort of content you do enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so as you would have seen by the thumbnail, today we're going to be trialing out the new products from Arva. Their wheel cleaner, their citrus pre-wash, their foam cleaner, and their seal and shine. And also, I was sent their foam cannon, which is easy as one, two, three. So this is Arva's premium foam cannon kit. And it comes with three one litre bottles, green, pink, and a clear. It also comes with your dilution ratios on either side of the bottle. And it comes with two handy lids. Also, as an extra, there's a pyramid system at the bottom of each bottle where you fill your product up to a desirable amount and then fill the rest with water. So they have really thought of it all. But guys, this is perfect for people like me that want to get their snow foam ready for the one bottle, their shampoo for the other bottle, and their ceramic sealant type product for the last bottle. And then it's just a case of swapping the lids. And as you'll see, it's got this knob on the side for the foam thickness, and also you can adjust the spread angle. So I know what you're all thinking, Dan, how can you do an Arva review without an Arva pressure washer? But this Karcher, he identifies as a Karcher, but he acts like an Arva. So if we can all just pretend for this video. I'm just joking. Look at this. This is the Arva P57 Easy. So just a little bit of information about this Easy P57. It is 145 bar, 500 litres per hour max, 2000 watt. It's got a very impressive 12 metre flexible hose which rolls in nice and neat. Also comes with extendable lance. Also you get a two nozzles you get your video nozzle which is your 20 degree and your 60 degree and you get a turbo nozzle but bearing in mind the turbo nozzle will not fit in the stubby gun has to go on the end of the extender lance and just before all the fairies and the internet trolls come out of their woodwork this is a borrowed machine i have not been sent this for free i repeat it is borrowed please calm down and for those of you that are worried dan i haven't got an arva pressure washer this is a karcher fitment lance so it will fit in your karcher gun as shown So today's car of choice is my wife's Audi A1 and it is stinking. She doesn't look after this thing. So it was the ideal car to try these products out and put these to the test. So we're just gonna start off by using Arva's Citrus mixed one to nine in the IK sprayer just to pre-wash the wheels and let it dwell. And we're just gonna jet wash it off and see how much dirt and grime is removed before we go in with Arva's wheel cleaner. So now we're on to Arva's reactant wheel cleaner now this is a 500 mil product ready to use and reactant means basically it will glow purple once the product has come in contact with any iron now 
and we're just gonna go back in with a bit of citrus just for the tires and we're gonna tackle it with a few various brushes first up is the easy barrel brush Next up, we're going to tackle the tyres and the faces of the wheels with my soft bristle Vicam brush. I really do like this brush. And then we're going to hit it with a small detailing brush just to get around all the little nooks and crannies. I will give it to the wheel cleaner. It did bring the other wheels up fine. It just struggled on this one particular wheel where it was a little bit more ingrained than all the rest and the wheels hadn't been cleaned for a very long time. So next up is Arva's Citrus Pre-Wash. Now I mixed this at a dilution of 1 to 9 in the IK sprayer and sprayed it all over the vehicle and was left for about 5 to 6 minutes to dwell. And as you'll see I'm using a 20 degree barrier nozzle on the end of the stubby gun for this Arva P57. Really does make light work of this dirt and grime. So this is Arva's Snow Foam Cleaner. Now I mix this at a dilution of 1 to 9, same as the Citrus, and applied it via their premium Snow Foam Cannon. Right, so first impressions on this premium cannon. Now it hasn't got the build quality of like the MJJC, but with the extra bottles and the nifty lids, this thing is an absolute belter. I really did enjoy using this. I think from now on I will be grabbing this before I grab my MJVC. So here's one of the good things about having this premium cannon. I can just switch the heads over to bottle 2 where there's a shampoo ready for the shampoo and contact wash stage. This shampoo is by Autobrite Direct. Obviously not an other product so I'll just show you me washing the car and then we'll move on to the next product.
So now we're on to Arva's Seal and Shine. Now I mix this again at one to nine, like all the others, sprayed on using a foam cannon and then rinsed off. Now this boasts good beading. I was very surprised with the beading the next day. Also it offers a nice gloss and it can last about three to four weeks depending. So this is just a quick clip of me showing you how hydrophilic this panel actually is. You can see there's no protection or anything on it at all. The water just floods to the panel. So as you will notice, as I'm rinsing off the Arva Seal and Shine, the water has dramatically changed. It is a lot more hydrophobic now and it's not hanging round. It's produced nice beads and also some sheeting. And there you have it guys, she is all done and clean for five minutes. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Arva for sending me out these products and the premium Snowform Cannon. That Snowform Cannon is definitely worth a buy. And as always, if you've used any of the Arva range, whether it's their products as featured today, their Snowform Cannon or any of their jet washes, please let me know what your thoughts were down below in the comments and I'll write back to you. But guys, that's all from me today. I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Ta-ra now.